Good morning guys, hope you're all doing well. Um, hope you've all had a great week. I myself had a fantastic week, accomplished a lot. So I'm in a good mood, I'm in high spirits. Um, I'm going to be reviewing Darth Malgus. I'll quickly show you his card back. Very nice image there of Mr. Malgus himself. Very cool. Here's number VC96. There's all the other figures you can get. I believe after this I will have reviewed all of them. Um, so you can definitely have a flick through my channel and go and have a look at those figure reviews if you haven't seen them already. So Awesome to finally get this guy. He's going for absolutely ridiculous prices which I'm just not going to pay for. So here he is. An absolutely amazing figure. Um, I think it cost me around about 20 to 22 dollars I think if I do my maths right um, so not too bad at all considering he was sitting on my doorstep when I got home didn't need to go shopping didn't need to go out running around looking for him so it's very good accessories he comes with he comes with this big hood which does sit it's designed to sort of sit on his shoulders can get it to sit a little bit better than that but uh it has a piece of wire throughout the collar at the base of the hood and that's basically there to sort of so you can sort of wrap it around his shoulders a little bit better but it's a little bit difficult to do so we'll just move that it is really cool though um, just like most soft goods it just doesn't quite work <coughs> as well he does come with his lightsaber hilt his unlit lightsaber hilt Which pegs down onto his belt there, you can see the hole. So he does so it does sit in there very nicely. And I've just dropped it so I can't show you. <laughs> um, and of course his lit lightsaber which is a very nice. I really like this lightsaber. I like the fins that come up the side. I think that's really well done. Why do all the Sith get all the cool lightsabers? <laughs> There's reason enough to become a Sith, I think, just to have the cool lightsaber. So he is a very nicely detailed figure. Very nicely painted, very nicely articulated. Um, you can pick this guy up for a reasonable price, it's definitely worth the money, but I wouldn't be going and paying $100 for it, or $60, or anything ridiculous like that. So in terms of articulation, I'll run through that. He has a ball jointed head, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, swivel wrists, swivel waist, swivel hips, ball hinged knees, and ball hinged ankles. So you can get this guy in some super cool poses. So they definitely haven't skimped on the articulation. He's got some really cool details on his uh, arms there for his communicator gauntlets on his arm. I'll just pull it back a bit. There we go. Cool little buttons there he's got painted on there and imagine that has something to do with his breathing apparatus. So got some cool design work on his chest plate there. The chest plate and the uh, other soft goods cape is removable. I won't take it off because it doesn't look very good. It's got these sort of pegs that peg into the front and back. Um, once you take them off he's left with some gaping holes in his chest and back so it just doesn't look all that good so I won't worry about that because it's not really worth showing. The head sculpt is absolutely fantastic I love this absolutely love it. Obviously Darth Malgus a lot like other, all the other Old Republic stuff excuse me has been inspired by a lot of um, Star Wars stuff from the movies and this guy just is very Darth Vader-ish um, mixed with a great bit of Grand Moff Tractor from the Empire comic series such as the uh, breathing apparatus it looks very very similar and of course there are a lot of Sith that come out end up with breathing apparatuses because they just 
get their butts kicked. <laughs> Very nice paintwork. I love the sort of black under his eyes. Doesn't look like he's slept in about six years. Those nice sort of, I'm not sure what that is on his head, veins on his forehead there. Looks like you've seen the stresses of a lot of battles. And the uh, mouthpiece breathing apparatus looks really well, it's really well sculpted. One thing I would have loved to have seen with this figure is an alternate head where before he gets the breathing apparatus. Um, I'm sure you, most of you have seen the uh, videos before and it's just, just a bald guy really. <laughs> You know, I really like the eyes, they just so they just stand out so well. Really bright, very sithy. Another thing I really like is the chest armour there on the shoulders, particularly with the paint that's worn off. You see a bit of glimpses of silver. You've seen the heat of battle a little bit. And he's got his other wrist gauntlet there with the same sort of buttons on the other side. Which they got communicators and stuff like that, so that's very cool. Does hold his lightsaber really well. I'll just zoom out again. There we go. Does hold his lightsaber really well in both hands. So no complaints there at all. And then move down to his uh, lower body. I really like the nice Ripley sort of look to his arm, I reckon that's really cool. Um, yeah, it's cool. I do like the fact that they've used a nice grey colour for the, the bodysuit he was wearing underneath his armour. I think had they gone a black, it would have just been a little bit too much. But what they've done is absolutely fantastic. It really makes this black armour sort of really stand out against that grey. Nice glossy finish to that armour. And there is his shin guards and boots. Very nicely done. Let's see if I can show you what on his back. It's cool armour there. <coughs> So this is a, just a really cool figure, I really recommend him. I will be, probably for a long time, be on the hunt for a second one to keep carded, like most people will be. Um, this is, it's just going to be one of those figures in the future. He's going to be like a similar to your Darth Revens and your Darth Malix. Um, hopefully he's a little bit easier to come by in the future. Um, this just seems to be the case with a lot of expanded universe figures where they become really highly sought after in time because I guess Hasbro just don't pack enough initially because they're expanded universe. They're not as highly recognisable as your Darth Vader's and your, your Luke Skywalker's, your Han Solo's, um, your Anakin's and all that sort of stuff. So we've seen a lot of EU figures become really highly sought after such as your like I, was, like I mentioned before, your Revens, your Malix, um, Jason and Jaina Solo, um, Exar Kun and Ulic Keldroma, which are part of a comic pack. That's probably just probably the most highly sought after um, figures of the model line. <clears throat> of course, there are a lot more out there, but uh, glad to have this guy in my collection. So glad to finally have him. Absolutely phenomenal figure. I'll give him a nice solid. I don't know. I'll give him a ten out of ten just because they couldn't have done much else. Like I said an alternate head sculpt would have been really nice, and maybe even a soft goods hood to go over the top would have. Uh, not a soft goods, a plastic hood to go over the top would have been nice as well. But beggars can't be choosers. Thanks for watching as always guys, uh, I think I'm just about done here with Darth Malak, not Malak, Malgus, they've all got that name, <laughs> you know what I mean. But like I said, thanks for watching as always guys, comments and f feedback are always um, appreciated. And I'll be back soon for another review, so stay tuned, and uh, yeah. 
Have a great weekend, guys, and may the force be with you.